Howdy there, my friends. This is Sam Fredrickson from PreventingCavities.com. Today I'm here to talk to you about what causes cavities and how to stop them. Now, ever since we were younger, our dentist would always tell us that plaque and bacteria cause cavities. Now, this isn't strictly true, my friends. Is plaque and bacteria a good thing to have? No, it's not really something you want in your mouth. However, my friend, the fact of the matter is, no matter where you are, no matter how many times you brushed your teeth today, no matter what you're doing, no matter how long it's been since you brushed your teeth, you will always have at least 10 billion bacteria crawling around inside your mouth, no matter what. Now, my friends, some people have this 10 billion bacteria in their mouth crawling around, and they never get a cavity their entire life. Other people, well, their mouth looks like a battlefield from all the cavities that are supposedly caused by this bacteria that everyone has. Well, if everyone has it and it causes cavities, why doesn't everyone have cavities? Now, you could say that brushing your teeth is what stops a cavity. And again, that's not simply true, my friends. Brushing your teeth will address the symptoms of a cavity. It'll, it'll address the weakening of the enamel. It'll address the buildup of plaque. But it will not address the actual problem. And what the problem is, my friends, is that your enamel has become weak. Over time, through exposure to sugary soda, sugary drinks, sugary food, processed food, your enamel has gone from being a strong thing that can fight off infection and fight off disease and fight off bacteria to being weakened and soft. Now this is important because next up we're going to talk about plaque. Now dentists tell us that plaque causes cavities and again my friends it's simply not true. What plaque does is it coats your teeth and it traps things on there. Things like acid from sugars. Now, if you just had a nice sugary drink, a nice sugary cookie, whatever, and you got some plaque on your teeth, well, that sugar's going to sit there and sit there and sit there. And as it's sitting there, that acid is going to weaken your enamel until finally you have a soft point. Now, this soft spot in your teeth will suddenly become susceptible to bacteria. And the plaque that's trapping the acid and the bacteria there is going to stop it from escaping. And because it can't go anywhere else, it has to go in. And so that plaque and that bacteria and that acid is going to work its way right into your teeth. And it's going to make one heck of a big hole. And it's going to be one bad cavity, my friends, let me tell you right now. Now that's what weak enamel does to you. It leaves you susceptible. However, if we can strengthen our enamel, then we can cut down our risk of getting cavities by an extremely large amount. Now, strengthening your, strengthening your enamel isn't even that hard, my friends. All you got to do is maintain a proper, healthy, nutritious diet that is geared towards good dental hygiene. It's simple enough to remineralize your teeth. It's simple enough to strengthen your enamel, my friends. You just have to be eating correctly. That means you've got to cut out that sugar. You have to get rid of all that excess sugar, my friends, because that acid in that sugar is what causes the cavities. That's what's doing the damage. However, this isn't just a video about how to stop it from happening and what causes it. We're here to address the problem before it happens. We need to strengthen that enamel by upping our intake of vitamins and minerals that are found in fat-soluble foods. Things like raw, raw milk, egg yolks, natural, real food that has been unprocessed and without any added flavor, sugars, anything like that. That's what's going to strengthen your enamel. And once you get that enamel strong, my friends, those weak spots in your teeth will simply disappear. You won't have to go to the doctor. You won't have to go to the dentist. You won't have to get a root canal. You won't have to pay for this dental surgery. You won't have to throw away your hard-earned money 
just because your teeth decided to go crazy on you. See, dentists are good. They're good for emergencies. They're good for things that we can't fix. And yes, there are some of those things out there. However, my friends, there is no reason to go to a dentist just because you have a cavity. The most important thing is to keep your enamel strong and to keep your teeth healthy. And if you can do that, my friends, you're not going to have to throw away your hard-earned money on that kind of stuff anymore, I promise. This has been Sam Fredrickson from PreventingCavities.com. I hope to see you again soon.